Hello, my name is Harold. This is Tech on Tech, and today I'm going to cover sleep settings. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get into the sleep settings by going over here to the search bar and typing the word sleep. You can also find it in control panel and run search there, or uh, okay, you can go to control panel, or you can go to settings under the uh, taskbar, or no, under the... Uh, the main Windows uh, icon here, back over here. Settings will bring you basically to the same place as this. And you uh, can type in sleep here. You can go to power options. Although I'm not going to get into that. I want to start with the simpler stuff that starts on the top when you type in the sleep stuff. So, all right. Uh, first, let me go ahead and explain sleep. Uh, when your computer is sitting for a period of time, it can go into a sleep state, which is a state where it's still technically on, but it's consuming less power. It just disables certain peripherals and stuff like that. Uh, the place where this computer is set right now is to put the computer or to turn off the screen after 10 minutes. Of course, everything pretty much remains on at that point. But you come back, you move the mouse, it's very, very quick to come back up. The second stage here is a sleep sleep, which is, turns off some stuff, but not everything. Uh, this does consume elect less electricity. You come back to the computer, you move the mouse, you top the keyboard, and it comes back on. Um, uh, first stage is pretty good. Second stage is better. Uh, I do use this on a lot. A lot of people do use this on their computers. You come back, you tap it, it comes back. It wakes back up and stuff like that. Um, if you're always using your computer, if you always have something running in the background, like for instance, if it's performing operations for Boink, that's a program that donates CPU uh, usage and stuff like that to various uh, like scientific projects and stuff like that. You use screen because it leaves basically everything on except for the screen. A little less power usage, but some power usage. If you want to go beyond that and consume uh, a lot less power, this disables a lot more of it. And this is probably the place where 90% of the people are going to want to set their stuff. Uh, screen, probably 15 minutes. Uh, sleep after 30. That's usually a reasonable setting for this kind of thing. Uh, I find that tends to work with most people. Uh, you come back, you move the mouse, it comes back to life and stuff like that. It's fine. Uh, we're actually going to go a little more in-depth into that because there's something even higher than that. It's called... Uh, it's called... Uh, uh, hibernate and I don't recommend anybody use this because it's never been really really stable it's never been yeah, it's just it's just not very stable uh, what it does is it loads the current state of the computer into memory and that takes a lot longer to load back up and sometimes because of the way it shuts down programs and stuff like that they don't like to come back up unless they're optimized for it and that can just create a lot of headaches and a lot of problems but i'm going to go ahead and show you that real quick just in case you want to enable that or if you want to disable it which is what i do on every computer so uh sleep is great i love it i use it screen um if you have stuff running in the background i would use that one uh, this is usually the good middle ground sleep but if you want to go beyond that uh if you have a gaming computer and you're configuring it for the first time use high performance uh you can go in and you can reconfigure it to uh, put the computer to sleep too. And I have noticed that high performance does give you a kick in power. So very, very useful, especially if you're doing a, uh, a higher power computer where you're doing gaming and stuff like that. It does absolutely like kick stuff on faster. And it is, it does just, it's just more power on demand faster. And uh, you can enable that and then turn off the screen, stuff like that. Uh, most computers best to be left to balanced uh, power saver. Uh, it tends to enhance a little more, and it's more aggressive on stuff like using um, uh, hibernate stuff like that. The balance is usually the best. And the thing I always disable, we go to advanced power settings here, is uh, right down here. Let's see if I can find these under the sleep settings here. And that's uh, allow, hyb uh, allow hybrid sleep, which honestly, no. And allow hibernate. Well, actually, you know, we can leave hybrid sleep on. Sorry. It's, it's just hibernate that we never want to have enabled. So, uh never actually had any problems with hybrid sleep so uh yeah uh it i'm sorry i just I, I can't i'd like to consider supporting hibernate but even for the use cases where it's a good idea it's still and it does it consumes a lot less electricity when the computer is not in use in fact it's pretty much virtually turned off 
but uh, it's still there's so many pro programs that have problems and stuff like that that if, if you if you're to the point where you need to use hibernate you might as well just shut down the computer when you're done with it uh, besides that uh, turn off display 15 minutes put computer to sleep to 30 is generally the best settings for that I don't tend to have a whole lot of problems uh, if you do have problems with sleep or hibernate when you go into sleep or hibernate you know just hold down the power button do a full reboot stuff like that maybe scale it back a little bit although I've never had problems like that except when I was in hibernate uh, sleep is generally really really stable so that's it these are the recommended settings I recommend you use of course if you want display to turn off sooner that's your preference put the computer to sleep that's also a preference uh, that you're welcome to change if you want to do it but that's pretty much everything on the sleep settings and stuff like that also if you have a high powered gaming computer kick this all the way to uh, performance mode and then just go back in and tweak the screen sleep settings a little bit because there's just there's stuff that this does that just boosts performance scores across the board all right, guys, if you have any other questions or anything like that, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, that's pretty much it. Have a great rest of the day.